Hey guys, I want to take a moment and talk to you about the role of Usher here on the First Impressions team. And as I mentioned Usher, there's actually two distinctive Usher positions on the First Impressions team. The first is a Bulletin Usher, the second is a Roaming Usher. We'll start with a Bulletin Usher. A Bulletin Usher, as you may have deduced, is the individual that hands out the bulletins. There will be two Bulletin Ushers at each service, one located at either primary entrance into the auditorium space. Now previously we've referred to this position as greeters because they do operate much as a greeter does and being friendly and welcoming is an important part of the role. However, there's also a critical part of the role that has not been highlighted enough, which is the role of having an usher position in which we are helping people find seats and be comfortable in getting into and beginning to enjoy the service time. As you are handing out bulletins, Please locate yourself where I'm standing if you are on this side of the auditorium or slightly to the left. But please do not stand in front of the front doors or block traffic in and out. We have a tight enough space to begin with. As people are coming in, it's important not just to watch for them as they're coming in and hand things out, but also to keep an eye on the seating and what's going on in the auditorium. We are oftentimes seating near capacity. And even when we are a good deal short, there's a tendency for seats near the aisles and in the back to fill up first. Particularly right when the service starts, people tend to stand up, making it more difficult to find where there are open seats. Be aware of where open seats are whenever possible. Help people who are coming in. If you see a look of indecision on their face or questioning where they should go, immediately help them. Be bold, step forward, say, I've got three seats up on the left in the third row. Encourage them around, walk with them up to the front. When we are busy, please rely on the roaming ushers. The roaming ushers will serve to be a team with the bulletin ushers. They will be the ushers that will walk down the aisle they will help escort people there. When a bulletin usher and a roaming usher are working in a team, the roaming usher can signal back and forth to the bulletin usher, holding up the number of fingers for the number of seats needed or the number of seats available, and coming and helping a guest find the seat. The roaming usher may also need to very politely ask for people to move towards the center or to allow extra space. Please do this as gently as possible. And if possible, please try and ask those you know to be more regular attenders to move before you ask a visitor or someone you're not sure if they're new. Having this element is going to be very important to us, particularly in the coming months as we prepare for our new building. Being overcrowded is a wonderful problem to have, but it can still be a problem. And we certainly don't want people to feel uncomfortable and not come back because they feel like there was not space for them. Ushers are extremely important. Now, the roaming usher, the first roaming usher, will also be the service leader. We'll tell you more about the service lead and how this role is filled out in an additional video later in this training. Ushers in general will also have the responsibility of passing the offering baskets. If the offering baskets are not already out, they will either be located in the pastoral office or on top of the tech booth cabinet. Please retrieve them prior to passing the offering. The offering will typically take place at the end of the sermon during the time of response. The lead, service lead will be let know if there's any alterations to the order of service for that week. As you are passing the baskets, please walk all the way to the front. Pass the baskets across the front aisle. Hold the baskets out and pass them down the rows even if there's only a single individual. If someone signals they don't want the basket, that's fine. Move on to the next individual but offer the basket to every person even if you don't think they'll have anything to give. Oftentimes, there are primarily pastors in the front row and yet there's one or two individuals who get overlooked because they're sitting up in that row with us. Please pass the basket even across the very front row. Whenever handing something out in service or passing the baskets, please start by moving all the way to the front and working your way back. 
people feel much more comfortable watching you go towards them than having to turn around and see what's coming from the back forward. Once the offering is collected, please take the baskets without stopping, altering, reaching into them in any way, and walk them back to the pastoral office for the unloading of the offering in the secured giving manner. For more information on that, please watch the service lead video. You may be asked to assist the service lead in securing the offering and also in signing the offering sheet. The service lead will let you know if this is a responsibility he has for you and walk you through any steps you may need to know. If you ever see anything that appears to be a security incident or someone tampering with the offering, please let the safety or security team personnel know or a staff member. Thank you guys for helping us make sure that we have an orderly, comfortable, welcoming environment for people to find seats and to be able to enjoy services here at